Good evening once again. There are now repeated warnings about a nationwide teacher shortage. Here in the state of New York, it's estimated we are going to need 180,000 new school teachers over the next five years. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley says that the West Seneca School District is working right now to tackle this problem. First graders at West Elementary School listen up. All right, are we ready for math? As their yeah. teacher asks okay. for their attention. Buffalo State senior Kennedy Kirby is an education major, but she's already in the classroom two days a week, gaining valuable experience. I love the creativity that comes along with being a teacher and the excitement. Um, I think it's something that in other professions you don't really get. It's very rewarding. Kirby is among 35 Buff State students in a program called Developing Future Teachers, teaching in eight school districts designed to address a teaching shortage. The program is a win-win. The student teacher gets on hands experience from the classroom and the district gets to tap into a qualified teacher when they need a substitute. Buffalo State mathematics so. professor Sue McMillan says this program is critical to rebuild a teaching workforce. Well, I can say for our own program, we used to have 40 or 50 student teachers that wanted to be secondary math teachers. And now in a year, we're lucky if we have 10. So the numbers have really declined. President of the West Seneca Teachers Association, Joe Cantafio, says retirements is a big factor for the teaching shortage. You know, when you look at some of the numbers, they're pretty shocking. The fact that one third of all current teachers could are eligible to retire right now. I've been in, I think, every grade now, kindergarten through fifth. Um, I've been in gym. I've been in music. So I'm really getting exposure to everything, which is awesome. And if you're wondering what the students think of Kirby's teaching skills, we caught a student offering his approval. Good job. <laughs> In West Seneca, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.